Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day as always. Well, man, first of all, I want to start off with, you know, thanking a lot of you guys for giving me um, some of the, you know, the info on, you know, having a, a pinched nerve. Man, I can't tell you guys, this is the worst pain that I've ever had. I'm still a little, I would say I'm like, not even like really 50% like healed, dude. I am so jacked up. I have a little more movement, but obviously right now I haven't taken a little medication, so it's kind of like, you know, bringing it down a little bit. But yeah, if you see me kind of like robot out a little bit, it's just because it's still there. But man, I've tried everything. I've gone to the chiropractor. That uh, actually relieved a little bit of pain. I tried acupuncture. I don't know if it worked. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, we're just going back and forth and everything. Hopefully it goes away soon. I did try this little tennis ball thing in the back. Um, that kind of just taking a little knot out or whatever it is. But it's been working a little bit. But guys, okay, enough talking about that. Obviously, we're going to show you guys the uh, clutch from the chocolates. The super chocolate pairing that we did because they all shut out. They actually already had a couple of meals. But I want to talk to you guys about some pairings that we have. Um, actually, not pairings. Um, some clutches that we're going to start expecting uh, here in the next couple of months. Every time we're, you know, like, I always panic a little bit when it's around this time. And it's Seems like if every year we're going a month like l month later than you know our, our previous year so you know we're all just selling some stuff out there now and, and i was kind of a little like i was like a little like uh oh this is getting a little scary and i was looking at all the clutch cards and i was looking at them from the year before and it's always a month back but finally we have some tape on here guys we have some stuff that's gonna be laying which i'm super super excited about i'll share some of these uh these parents here real quick but um one of these girls that we always know always goes is early on for us is this leopard pinstripe desert ghost head pie now she was the one that we call the lottery snake and you know i was going to put the leo pie to her but what i wanted to do this time is kind of go a little more for the combos because i had made this um snake from her a year ago and right here obviously you guys see we have an orange dream yellow belly inchi pied 100 head desert ghost so hopefully we can hit the desert ghost version of this one right here Next, we have this Gotham Coral Glow Leopard, Gotham Coral Glow Leopard Clown, like if that's a freaking gene, huh? Uh, Cor <laughs> Coral Glow Leopard Clown. Um, she's going to be going as well. And she was paired up, none other than the Trident Clown, the Red Stripe Trident Clown. And I'll show you guys the males here too as well. This guy I'm super excited about. I'm ready to see these, you know, um, Trident combos. Again, it's a new gene and not too much people are working with it. But if the Red Stripe Trident looks like this, I cannot wait till we see it in Spot Nose, Cypress. I mean, he's going to a lot of Batman stuff. I mean, just other crazy things. So we have that right here. We have some puzzle stuff. We have Firefly Orange Dream Head Puzzle. Bred to an Orange Dream Puzzle. Um, what else do we have over here? More blue tape. Blue tape, yeah. Super chocolate, GHI, vanilla, hypo. And this was bred to our blackhead, black pastel, leopard, clown, het hypo, 50% head desert ghost, which I'm still checking those shed tests. Uh, inchy head sunset to Batman sunset. Red stripe, ultra male head clown, bred to an ultra male clown. Yellow belly dreamsicle to a, what was it? Yellow belly dreamsicle to a sunset uh, head pied. Leopard Santa had pie. Ooh, she's getting ready to Avi. Look at that. And then we have these two VPI clowns that were bred to Desert Ghost Clowns. I mean, I need to get a lot of these holdbacks ready. So yeah, that's some of the stuff that's coming up here. And then we have about 20, 30 girls that are already in their 20 uh, millimeter follicles. I don't think we're gonna hit, well, we're not going towards 110, uh, um, uh, what's it called, clutches this year. We're actually going for about anywhere from 70 to 90 around that around that range but these clutches are going to be insane one of the clutch one of the snakes that's doing a lot of work for me now thank goodness is this guy right here this guy and man i am so happy he's doing a lot of work for us because we have a lot of red stripe yellow belly spot nose clowns and uh right here we have a chocolate black pastel hypo desert ghost hat clown so hopefully we can hit some like pompeii chocolate versions of them that are gonna be, you know, 100% head desert ghost, head hypo, or vice versa, because we have a lot of clown um, head hypo stuff. And we have a lot of cool stuff here that I'll get into detail here, you know, in the next couple of vlogs. Um, again, I'm gonna show you guys an update of the pool, then we'll get to the chocolate stuff. But yeah, let's check out the pool. So it's really windy, so I might be yelling, but um, we'll let Tina go ahead and go all the way to the stacked rock. But guys, it is looking so beautiful, man. Come over here, Cardis. Come down here. Look at the step conquer. This thing is freaking so sick. Look how pretty this looks. Ah. <laughs> Did you almost eat it? <laughs> yeah, I almost fell. So yeah, so this right here is just, I mean, it goes so perfect. And as you can see, it's going all alongside the pool. Then Tina picked out this uh, this darker, um, uh, like a grayish uh, tile for it. 
But you see my monkey right here? Dude, I got that monkey like, what was it? Five years ago at the Arlington show. And he usually goes up there and like, you know, we always have a nice beer with them. But yeah, it's coming along really, really good. And we're really, really excited. This uh, week is actually gonna be finished in here. They're gonna put more stacked rock there. We're gonna get the palm trees going. We're gonna pour the concrete. Then we're gonna start putting the artificial turf in here. And guys, yeah, it's gonna look amazing. So we're hoping by July 4th, we're gonna have a our first um, 4th of July party here. But it's gonna be a good time to, you know, throw a party here because this backyard is gonna look amazing, man. It's been really, really fun too. And I don't have anything in my eye. Let's go back in there. All right, guys. So remember, this pairing was a super chocolate clown bred to a black pastel red stripe heck clown. And we have some really, really cool stuff. Look how beautiful these things look. How freaking sick. And these will be available on Patreon. Make sure you guys go check that out. Guys, something I'm doing on Patreon and I wanted to talk to you guys about um, is um, we are going to be putting a uh, like pretty a really good sell here shortly on the stuff that's left over. And I think we're going to be knocking about 30% off on top of whatever you have saved up on there. We're actually going to be putting some female proven breeders as well. A lot of cool stuff here in the next, uh, let's say the next week or so, because we're going to do one more ultrasound and whatever females ain't really going there, um, we're going to be putting those up for sale alongside some proven breeder males. Actually, let me show you guys that real quick before I make the video for that. But we are going to be releasing these guys right here. And these are all proven breeders. Oh, he's in shed. So right here we have a spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly, inchy clown. And another male that's gonna be, um, we're gonna be releasing as well too, is this whoop, spot nose, cypress, red stripe, yellow belly, heck clown. This guy right here is a powerhouse of a male, man. A male, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another male that we're gonna be releasing too is an orange dream, desert ghost. Head clown, 50% head hypo, proven breeder as well. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this clutch here real quick. So right here, we have a chocolate red stripe head clown. Look how pretty this looks. Remember, everything's gonna be chocolate because it came from a super chocolate. And this right here is a female. Next, we have a, I like this one, it's really pretty. This is a male. Right here we have a black pastel chocolate head clown. Then we have a just chocolate, chocolate clown. And then we got lucky and we hit two of these, which I'm not sure if they have red stripe. I think they're possible red stripe. Um, you know what, they might have it, I don't know. I've never seen this combo before, but right here we have some black pastel chocolate clowns possible red stripes a male and a female i would say this one has red stripe actually it actually looks different you can see the coloring on them but again i don't know maybe with you know yep i would say it. <laughs> i don't know what do you think turtle get a little closer so people can see honestly the one to the left this one right here i would i would it agree would, with it, it too it just right. looks a little bit more orange and a little bit more white yeah i feel like it looks cool right yeah, look at really these cool. things and I believe one of these is already purchased. Um, it's the female. It looks so nice from the side, I think. You see the oh, white. It's this one right here. But yeah, it's pretty cool, man. This was the last, you know, clutch that we had coming out. Other than that, we don't have anything anymore. And it sucks because I wish I was, you know, breeding every, you know, every month like a lot of these other breeders are. And it's crazy because I see a lot of people already hatching stuff. Already, you know, having like 70, 80 clutches. Dude, I'm not, I don't even have a snake yet that's gonna have any eggs here until like the next, I would say by August, is we're gonna have our first clutches. Then we're gonna go into like this end of, the, uh, end of this year and then the beginning of next year. It's gonna just go, maybe it's gonna correct itself in the next couple of years where I actually start breeding in October mm -hmm. and I start hatching stuff while everyone else hatches. But um, I think so. Yeah. Too. Guys, as always, man, we appreciate a little support. Until next time, peace. <laughs>